Dan, uh, you, you was talking about earlier about your content. So the other night I got to watch something the UFC had made called Quick Hit. And it was talking about your career. It was only like four minutes long. Uh, but there was this gentleman on there, and I wish I could remember his name. You might know who I'm talking about. But he was specifically talking about your fight with Hoist Gracie. And he said that he knew at any point in time, if you would have let your conscience go out the door, you would have absolutely destroyed him. But you knew that you could seriously hurt this guy and that you were holding back. And I've heard that about several people saying that about you. What was it? I know you, you've, you've also talked about your opponent saying that it was the kindest beating that they've ever got. Um, what made you hold back while you was in there? I mean, obviously, I know you didn't want to severely uh, cripple anybody, but at the same time, a lot of these fighters just wouldn't care. They would do yeah. whatever they had to do to get the win. Yeah. I mean, I, again, you, you refer to UFC 4, my very first uh, event ever. And you, you witness the first two matches. I don't strike at all. I'll just do all I'm sure the techniques. Match number three is, is Hoist, and that match goes, uh, I, I think, uh, I think it went, I don't know, 14, 15 minutes some, somewhere at that, that time era. I think the longest match at that time, I don't, I don't think went much over four minutes, and here we are, we almost quadrupled the time frame. Uh, but, and, and again, I, I found out a few of these things after that, uh, our Navy. Which we, we do need to get on the podcast at some point, but Art Davey, the original uh, brainchild of the uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship, the pay per view time frame was running out of time. He told me the story that afterwards, they're like, going, We're about to go, we're about to lose our airtime. And, and they're like, going, They're like, and, and they're back there, they're trying to make like executive decisions. Like, Sever's been on top the entire time, controlling it. And he goes, Let's just uh, reward Sever the victory. And just stop it for the pay per view. But then, you know, it was like uh, I probably just uh, I'll say somewhere in the next minute or two that things you know, changed to where I tapped out. But I always tell people that okay, they they saw me tap out, and they all said, "Well, they, they tapped out because of this uh, uh, triangle choke that uh, Hoist Gracie had on me with, with his legs." And I go, "Well, again, if, if, if that's what you want to think," and uh, and they're like. And I go, well, what, do you, what do you mean? I go, I said, the only person that knows what went down in that fight is Dan Sever. I know what I'm capable of doing. And even if he had those legs wrapped around me, I know that I'm still capable of standing up with him and simply just whiplashing him down. And what I, was, I would have snapped him into because, again, I know what I'm capable of doing. What did Hoist weigh at that, that point in time? 167 pounds, 170 yes, pounds, something like that. So he went with, a, with his gi on. You know, I wrestled heavyweights that weighed, weighed in excess of 400 pounds, and I launched them across mats. So what am I going to do with, with some of the uh, hoist stature? Again, that's where I have a conscience. I, I, I should say I had a conscience at that time. But then afterwards, when I saw the check, realized that how much he got, how much I got, and then all of the times I had to answer this question because all, all people look at they see is that well they saw me tap up. I go yes, I tapped out, and I will tap up and, and I will stand by what I did at the time I did. I go but because I seen and learned more about I learned more about the Gracie family. I learned more about Horia Gracie. I learned more about the business side of. Uh, the whole UFC and uh, how uh, things were utilized uh, to promote Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and how much more they that they capitalized on using the UFC as a marketing tool for Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and what did Art Davey receive out of all this? Nothing. So again, you know, it just I I, 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 I can stand by what I, I did. I tapped out. There, there you go, folks. I tapped out, but as I caught. Did I tap up to something that beat me or did I just tap up because I was unwilling to do what I had to do to another human being? I know what went down. I live with my conscience and I simply have moved on. The only person that I really saw, I think, the, the official beast come out on was Tank Abbott. I'm going to tell you, those knees, Dan, I would hate to have felt that the next day. <laughs> 